What is going on guys? Before we hop into today's video here today, today's video is actually sponsored by Banner Snack. It's a really cool online making banner design sort of website. I know a lot of you guys who visit my channel and such like look for like a lot of templates and sometimes just look for like simplistic videos why they do so well as well just in people who want to actually create them in Photoshop or the people who just want to like, yo, is there a template of this so I can just get this really quick? Um, I know this if, it's, if it doesn't like, I guess if it doesn't interest you, it doesn't interest you for the people I know that it will do so. It's just like a really cool online platform without having to use Photoshop or anything like that. It's really cool. It has a lot of different templates and stuff to work with. If I were to scroll up here for a second, you have a lot of templates, like I said, right? So you have automotive, health, events. This is not all of it, but it's just like sort of in the category way. Travel, services, fashion, business, personal. If I click on fashion, you get a lot of high contrast, a lot of ways to like demonstrate, you know, sales and uh, like all the text and everything pops the way it should, has a very spacing, all that good stuff. And if I were to go ahead and just go ahead and click make banner for ourselves, you can see you can make a whole entire banner set where they have to do it for like a one of those like you know advertisement you see in like the left corners or you do a, need a Facebook a YouTube banner you can do that in a set however you want to make a single banner very simply make a single banner you can go to let's just say like all these different dimensions by the way so if anyone's also wondering what the dimensions are they're right here as well if I can click on uh, photo, uh, it's not Photoshop color uh, full mm, Facebook cover there we go I can go ahead and just like scroll through you get this really cool um, look at these nice gradients and such you can just click on them you can hide layers you can mess around with them uh, color wise animation you can actually animate them as well um, it's really cool so if you guys want to go ahead and check this out it's banner snack you can check the description down below for the link and all that cool stuff so if it interests you please go ahead and explore if it doesn't then let's just get on today's video yo what is going on guys it is your voice so here there's a video here today bring us a photoshop tutorial because you're on really cool uh, we're gonna go with like another Fortnite banner. I don't even know what I'm gonna call it. Probably like a darker scheme Fortnite banner. But you guys enjoyed the other Fortnite design that I did, and I honestly did another one on stream. And a lot of you guys wanted to see a tutorial on it, so this is the one that I got on stream, uh, or I did on stream. Excuse me, like an hour and a half or so. And uh, yeah, we did it for Nick A. And uh, he just hit like you know 900 likes and stuff like that. He saw it, all that cool stuff. So it did well, right? And everyone wanted to see like a tutorial on it. So of course your boy is gonna throw in a good old tutorial to it. Okay. So mind you guys, I know a lot of you guys might be wondering where I get some of my stocks at, just because of the thing. It's from FNBR.co. Um, a lot of you guys know about it. If you guys do not know about it, it's basically like a really cool site in which you can go into. Uh, if you were to go to this site, period. If you go on the left here and says PNGs or excuse me icons and this is has like basically every icon is gonna give it to you in a fair like a, a like a fair size which is basically like as you can see like this right here is a rasterized image this is the exact size it came into right so it's a pretty big size it's like almost I'm gonna currently a 3000 by 1000 pixel um, dimension for uh, Twitter header right so if I were to go back over here for a second right all you have to do is literally scroll down you can see all the emotes a lot of things the gliders the whatever like um, this is not like a spot this part is not the sponsor part uh, this is just straight up just like how you get some really do uh, dope PNGs right and if you want to save one the one I took was um, I think it was up here somewhere right yeah it was it was somewhere here basically all you got to do like I did this one for the Nick a one so I right clicked save image as as very very simple and you're gonna have it be saved and you're just good to go and just like all that good stuff right so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know I already put some pictures in here I chose two different pictures however the same kind of uh, composition still uh, stands I would say so basically I just got two uh, pictures here reason why I have a really cool colored picture in the front whether it can be my color scheme for the entire banner design so that's why I kind of went with orange and then a nice darker color with some more like neutral tones rather than like a black or a nice you know, this is happened to be like a dark blue kind of uh, with vibe going on here but it's a nice contrast right so I did the same thing for this one right here we have like a nice little like chromish not chromish but like a, a metalish texture over something that's like yellow and like very bright so that contrast helps with the characters as well and then of course a good old background I have the same exact background I'm gonna go for in uh, this video here so um, yeah, but all that being said, let's go and get this thing going. So, of course, don't forget to leave a like on the video. 200 likes on the video, you go to the secret down below, which is going to be most likely the PSD of this video. And uh, if you guys haven't already, please follow me on uh, Twitch, because your boy got affiliate, so let's get it. And uh, yeah, let's go and get this thing going, and I'll see you in the video. All right, let's go and get this thing going. And now, really quickly, though, I would love to know if you guys can figure out what sport I tried today and happen to get this uh, little burn cut. I'm so curious if it's a common thing or if I'm just an idiot, right? So, all right. Very, very simple. This kind of this kind of process is almost like a four-step process. The text effect that I did as well was just very, very blank. Um, not blank, excuse me. It has like a really nice touch to it, but it's very simple. You know, it's very simplistic kind of, of text effect that you got going on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly start off with like a very quick background. Uh, what I ended up doing, which is very simply, uh, I don't know, we click on the background, but we just go to gradient map right here. 
uh right here right here right cool so we're gonna click on this and the nice sort of color that i had going on for this was a very dope sort of like black to a gray so uh for the shadows it's pure black but however for the highlights it's not another black it's just like a nice sort of lighter tone gray rather than just doing like a like a black background you know what I mean? or, or a darker background or like a really high contrast uh, you know brightness and contrast background so um for my left here for the shadow excuse me we have a very simple it's just all zero it's all the way black right for the right hand side however we have a nice gray with the hex code three five three nine four three so if you were to type that in, in this little box here you get the same exact color that i'm using currently and i'll press okay i'm gonna press cancel though because oh wait wait no oh, i was supposed to press okay there we go right so that's gonna set up a really simple like nice darker background um so yeah at first i'm just gonna write in we're gonna write in uh I just write in the word Fortnite. The font that I did use on the Nick A banner. Let me go ahead and quickly throw in some rulers. So Control H, or excuse me, Control R, my keyboard brings up these rulers right here. Drag them nice, just very simply. Just let them snap themselves into the middle where you think it is, just like so. As you saw, kind of just snapped. Okay. Now the font that I did use, it was called Neuro, or no, 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 not Neuro. It was called um, Arrow. There we go. Okay. So. And I used a white, right? So it was white. Okay. So it's going to use a nice little offset white. So something not pure white, but just like kind of right there. You know what I mean? It's like very like right there. You don't want it to be too bright. This is a fairly good, nice offset white. If you always want the same exact hex tone, um, hex code, it's four, uh, excuse me, F zero, F zero, F zero, right? You can see the difference. Like look right here. You see how this is, it's actually not that big of a difference. You could even probably go a little bit lower. I'm not sure why it's not changing the color though. When I moved it, there we go. Right, you see how that's very very white however you throw it just a little bit further down it kind of blends in just a little bit more better and uh, kind of works for us right so for this very simple little text effect that i did this is going to allow me to put a nice very simple highlight to it and uh, you can use a color if you guys want to as well i have i have done this text effect with a color as well so what i'm going to do is uh, basically with this orange here right as i would do that uh, we're just going to simply just take a duplicate it's going to hold alt click on this layer and drag it below it that'll make a very quick duplicate for us as you can see there's two different layers now that says the word fortnite we're just going to change this into Fort that's fortnite copy that's fine so i'm gonna go over here go to this little uh character table if you guys don't have this by the way available for you guys just simply go to windows uh characters right click in your colors i'm just gonna drag this down a little bit more now so a little more gray right i'm gonna drag this and just simply with my movement tool here with via my keyboard drag this down right till about you get to the edge of where like you know empty spaces start happening so i'm gonna throw it right here move it over to left a little bit with my uh arrow keys and then just quickly look to see if there's any spots that I need to fix. I mean, realistically, if you're doing this really quickly, like whatever kind of thing. However, if there's something you need to fix, you should definitely fix. Like this R right here, you see everything is con uh, connected and like there's no little spaces like this R. Just simply make a new layer, take your pen tool, right? You want to go to the end, click on it. You want to kind of, you know, I guess you can guess the angle. If you want to start all the way up here, you guys can as well. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Let's delete that. So if you want to start all the way up here, you can for sure. And then just to follow the angle a little bit better and then you can just simply drag this down here connect it and once you've connected it you can go ahead and right click uh fill path drop down color when you set the color set the same color that you chose for your gray as your uh, little back white press ok press ok again and delete the path very simply right so that's all you really have to do for that and all you would have to do now is just simply uh, merge these two layers together with either grouping them together with Control G and or making a duplicate and then con with Control J and then Control E to merge it all together. That was probably a lot, but all I really did was just group it together and uh, make myself a little spare copy just in case I mess up. So you can just call this, uh, you know, text backup just in case you're like, I spelt it wrong or something like that because your boy spells a lot of things wrong. And uh, yeah, that's that. So we're going to call this what it is. We're going to call this the Fortnite backing right so you have the text and then you have the backing very simple right so all you if you wanted to change the color let's just say you wanted to have like a red or a green or whatever i would like just simply do like that right and then for the backing you just want to go ahead and select the color right and then you just want to move it down a little bit so if you want to do a green just get a nice little uh i guess a nice little shadow to it this is basically like a, a better alternative drop shadow in my opinion rather than just kind of like trying to fixate some some weird shadowing technique i don't know you know what i mean um, we're just gonna leave it. I mean, it doesn't have any color and it's kind of looks kind of awkward and mine's a little bit more grayer tone But that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and just say like let's just make night, right? We're gonna take night and just make this yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna make that yellow Let's try to go a little bit more like a naturalish not super vibrant yellow So for this Fortnite backing part here, I'm just gonna take it and split this in half And this is me just kind of like going off the off the board a little bit, but just try to make it a little more entertaining uh, so you're just gonna simply once you connect the paths so like kind of cutting it you want to go ahead and just right click or with M on your keyboard right click excuse me first the P on the keyboard right to make a selection right so when you press M on your keyboard it'll give you the option when you right click then to layer via cut which is what we're gonna do so you have currently this is gonna be fort 
and this part right here is gonna be night as you can see right so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna select this uh, with a layer style put it on color overlay take this yellow and so we just drag it down here so now we're gonna have a two-tone kind of text to kind of give ourselves a little more color to work with right so once you have this part this is like you know the other part where you want to put like if you want to put any subtext like uh, you know the the best type you can probably put for this would be like something like that maybe all right so I'm gonna put this Gotham black we're gonna make this like a nice offset white let's take that same gray we kind of going on here kind of got going on here take this down and put this subtext somewhere right here if you want to play with the colors as well let's just emphasize the best word in this entire sentence and make it yellow okay so very simple right so now you kind of have a nice little color scheme a little bit of contrast going there you have contrast falling with your actual characters that you got going on the right hand side and uh, now it's very simple uh it's kind of like a like a i guess this is step two or three um is this like a darker part you see how the right hand side is just a little bit more darker um gives our entire band like a really nice kind of flow to it all i did for that was I ended up duplicating this actual gradient map here um just by control j right and what i ended up doing was the reason why i set up my characters for the legs that always at the bottom and the head to always at the top is so that I can split things very nice and naturally and like seamlessly, right? So I can just go right up to this guy's character of his head, drag this all the way down. We'll go right through his legs. Not gonna go through here. Let's go around and kind of like behind his legs, right? Go on this left hand side because we want the right hand side to be darker. Right click. Uh, after you do so, make selection, press OK. And all you have to do now is when you click on the gradient map here, your, your color is going to be switched to white and black. So if you fill it in with white, which is control backspace, you'll see that it'll delete it. Excuse me, that's black, by the way, I think. Um, control backspace is your background color. This is your foreground color, as you can see, right? Highlighting over it. You have highlighted the background color. That's the background color. So using those um, control backspace or uh, alt backspace is going to give you the option to either cut it out with white or black. Because if I were to cut it out like this, if I were to press alt backspace again, you'll see it's not cutting anything out, right? So if I just press control backspace, that's white. That's going to work. Um, okay. So now all I got to do is like lower the opacity down. I believe I lowered it down to about 60 or so. And just to make it a little bit more darker on this side now, right? It looks kind of nice, kind of pretty, very simple. We're going to make another new layer. We're going to do the same thing, basically. Come over here. Let's go through his legs this way. We're going to go on the right-hand side, though, this time. And this part, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little bit of a, a pattern going on here. And also cut it out in some few spots, make it just look a little bit more cooler, right? And that's just a little bit of texture work, okay? So we're going to simply just right-click, fill any color. It does not matter. Just fill it in with any color. What's going to happen here is, if you guys have my pattern pack, which I totally advise you guys to do, it's $3 from selfie.com slash sysohq. You can go ahead and just lower your fill all the way down to zero. And we're going to double-click on this. And we're going to simply go ahead and go to pattern overlay and you can't probably see it that well um because I, the background color is like the same color as my patterns so it's just a little bit awkward but just trust me for a second if i were to use like something like this maybe let's just use it for a second so what's going to happen here is you can kind of see these little lines these have the same color though as my background that was just a mistake that i didn't previously but all the new updates and such are going to be like a black so you can actually see it over like a, a lighter tone um, with that being said, all you have to do now is when you have this is since there's nothing else is a fill at zero You're gonna right click and rash as a layer So what you can do now is you can do whatever the heck you want You can change the color to yellow, but we're gonna go ahead and just change it to black because we want that to just be nice Nice pure black you want to be able to see that pattern and make it look super freaking cool By the way little hint if you guys want to you can make a new layer clipping mask it Use a nice soft brush little little secret for you guys And you can take some parts and make it yellow after you rasterize this right here, all right? You can take some of these parts and make it yellow That'd be pretty cool. Just saying, I don't want too much. I don't know. I'm just going to say, if you guys made it to the, that part of the video, you got some really cool little uh, trick right there, right? So, um, yeah, this is where the social media would go. I would just kind of just, we're just going to pretend that we're going to put some social media here. You know, literally, this is just where it would kind of go, right? I'm not kind of, you know, you can see this setup. I literally put an icon, text over text kind of thing. Very nice, simple, nice text, which just happened to be Gotham Black, um, if you guys cared, right? So, this is our social media. I'll just make it nice and small, like five. And we'll just like fill that space just like that right your social media would be right there or that can be your website let's just put on um best website in the world sohq.com just like so right you put a website right there if you guys want to as well so now that pretty much the whole entire thing is almost pretty much done right all we have is very simple like little stocks so all i did was i made a new layer just like so took my pen tool to make this little simple little uh kind of like spiky stuff you simply just kind of just want to make your own spikes as simple as this right so i'm going to take a nice bigger spike here we'll make a nice skinnier spike right there right just a nice skinnier one we'll take one right here it's kind of hard to like kind of uh i guess direct it in the right way but it's it's trial and error once you keep doing it a couple times you'll know what i mean uh let's put one right here you know what i mean let's put one right there make this nice and short let's make another one nice close to it make it short as well let's take this make it short here another one here now i kind of rounded that but that's okay 
and something like right there okay we're gonna connect all of these make sure you guys connect them all and once you've done this you just can fill it in excuse me not sub path let's fill all the paths in with a nice color and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make this white so I can press control U whatever color it was I filled it in because I can just take a control U which brings up the hue and saturation table and take my lightness and drop it all the way up to 100 just like so and what I would do is I would personally use a nice little uh, select mask here so I can do is I can take my brush right so if I take my brush and once you just clicked on the selecting mask not this click on the thumbnail of the selecting mask you just clicked on what you can do now is you make it black and white right and once you've done this take the black one if you change it to black you can actually raise the color a little bit so if you were to take your opacity lower this down to like 20 or 30 or so 30 percent you can go ahead and erase some of these right to give them different kind of weights to them and once you've done that you kind of have like a really cool look coming in right so if i just keep on doing this we'll race them quite a lot right we'll race this one right here so then i one next will kind of just looks more vibrant and it just gives it a really dope like texture to it right you can't you can't argue that doesn't look pretty cool so once you've done that you can then make a new layer above it clipping mask that new layer don't forget to change your opacity back up if you guys want to keep on it on like 100 percent, which i like to you want to go ahead and just take your pen tool take some of these little things here and we're just going to make these a color just like so right and we're going to just go ahead and just nicely uh create a path we're going to change this to the color yellow we have for the text and let's press okay and there we go we got a nice little yellow in there now too right so all in all we're pretty much done right if i if you guys really want to i, I did use some stocks in my brush pack if you are my brush stock pack and if you got that's five dollars you guys are going to go ahead and check that out as well on selfie right um the same selfie.com so you can see you can see in the description about, uh, down below if you guys want to so all i really did was i made a new layer used my brushes which happens to be i think it was this brush or this brush no it was this one i think right something like this it's definitely one of these like i just kind of like it could have been any of these brushes um let's just go with um, this one no nope. not this one not this one had to be this one honestly we're just gonna click on it a couple times let's just see what happens right so it was kind of like put little sparkles in the background i went with my eraser back in here and kind of erase some spots i don't really want too much i don't really want all that kind of like flurries and whatnot and all i had to do was double click on this change this to a nice outer glow make this yellow right as you can see you make it a yellow and just tight just put your opacity just up quite a little bit and you kind of have this really simple little glow in the background it looks pretty cool and pretty much to finalize this entire thing which i think this is pretty damn good so far i'm um, pretty accurate to what we have going on just a different color scheme and a little more concentration uh we're gonna take a nice little uh darker yellow tone by holding alt with my soft brush i can select any color on this entire canvas and we're gonna simply click we'll click on the fortnite here we'll click like down here why not we'll click up up here why not put this uh blend mode to linear dodge add lower the opacity down a little bit and i'll just say i don't want this here so i'm gonna take my eraser erase that there i like that there this is okay there we'll fix a little bit here and there kind of thing right so pretty much we're done lastly lastly okay you're gonna simply just hold shift click on the first layer so when you hold shift you're gonna you know click on the first layer hold shift click on the last layer control j is gonna give you the option to duplicate everything control e will be the option to merge everything together so what's gonna happen here is you have in one layer everything you just did so all you have to do now is go to filter go to filter gallery um i would like to go ahead and put this on paint dubs if you guys want to as well right once you put on paint dubs it's kind of like a little sharp into it i always like to do that you can see with like little my little uh things in the background so it kind of looks kind of weird kind of sharpens everything see that pretty cool but that's not what i want to do at all right i don't want to do just do that i'm going to go ahead and just on this layer here i'm going to go ahead and right click and i'm going to go ahead and use a convert to smart object what's going to happen here is i would have even done that before i even did the smart uh the paint dudes by the way but this is going to happen is if whatever effects you put on this layer now it's going to give you the option to change them back so if you would do a color correction which we're going to do inside filter camera filter raw or camera raw filter as you can see let's just quickly just change it so i can show you what i mean really quick so, that, so you can see the reason being right if i press okay you'll see it's right here now if i want to turn it off turn it on but if i want to change it say i hate how this looks all that great stuff you know what i mean like if you gotta change something if you need obviously these changes happen uh, without going all the way back you can just go back in here and change that one thing you might have thought you needed so i'm gonna change this back to default what i'll do is i'll put a clarity up just a little bit i like to put my vibrance up just a bit as well right see the yellow that's kind of like what i'm talking about for the vibrance take our shadows because the blacks are going in the background here we're gonna make this a little more darker take our whites all the highlights you know make this a little more uh, vibrant uh, control that if you guys wanted to mess up with temperature i would be a little bit careful with it but i mean you could probably get some really cool uh like tones to them but once you've done this you simply press press ok and there's your pretty much your finalized very simple clean just nice darkish toned uh fortnite banner right so i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today 
I think it was pretty badass. Um, I think I, I explained it as well as possible. I feel like me live streaming is actually making me like, not comfortable, more comfortable talking, but more or less like a little bit more accurate, um, which I enjoy, whatever, right? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. As always, two likes on the video, you can see it down below, which happened to be the uh, the PSC of this video here today. So if you guys want it, of course, just leave a like, just simply just tell your friends if you guys want to as well. And uh, also follow me on Twitch. That's also Sesso HQ. If you guys want to also go ahead and comment anything you want me to do in the, you know, in the comments down below, just kind of any tutorial you might have seen, be like, hey, what if you do one of these, you know, or maybe I can do it for you or whatnot, right? So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Much love to you guys on the support of the videos we've been doing. This is probably our best month we've ever done ever in our YouTube career, which is a pretty big saying. Um, viewership wise, subscriber wise on our solo own without getting like crazy shots from here or there or whatever um, from our like career. So I just appreciate the fact that we're just growing very, very, very well. And uh, just thank you very much. Much love. Love every last one of you guys. Um, so yeah, with that being said, Jennifer keeps keep smiling, stay positive and just stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Kisses.